Yes, you're installing Kali Linux. How exciting. So the process is actually super simple. So let me show you. The first thing we're going to do is go to Google. And in the search bar, we're going to type Kali Linux. So the first entry is the one that we want to click on. Just make sure that it's coming from Kali.org, which is the official website. So let's click on it. Once in the official website, you're going to want to click on the download button that highlights kind of orange gold. So let's click on it. And once there, you're going to go to a new page. And this new page, they're going to give you several options on how do we want to download Kali. So the two recommended ones are the bare metal and the virtual machine. So we're going to do the virtual machine today because we want a guest OS. We want Kali to be open as well as our Windows environment or your Mac environment, whatever your host is. And we want to have it as a sandbox. The bare metal actually um, installs Kali on top of your hardware. So it'll make it a host OS, whether it'll share uh, within a partition of your hard drive uh, with your other host OS or whether it'll be your only OS, up to you. But um, we want to do the virtual machine because again, like I said, it'll give you a virtual environment, a sandbox that we can play with and not have to worry about um, misconfiguring something or doing something to our already existing host OS. So if you just want it as a lab machine, the virtual is your option. I will say though, there is an advantage of doing bare metal and that is that you give Kali full access to your hardware. So like your GPU, your graphical processor unit. The graphical processor unit is used by certain tools um, to crack hashes, to crack passwords. But if you're just learning, you just wanna play around, you don't need that. So let's click on virtual machine. And once there, it's going to give you two options, VMware and VirtualBox. So we're going to want to download VirtualBox. To do that, you're going to want to click on this little arrow right here on the bottom left of that square. Now, I do want to point out that right above here, it says these images have the default credentials Kali Kali. We're going to need these later. So don't so just remember. So let's click on the uh, down arrow under VirtualBox. And now it's going to start downloading Kali. Oh, you can't see it because I'm blocking. Okay, so it's going to start downloading Kali right here into my downloads. So I'm just going to pause the video until it does and I'll be right back. Okay, so the downloading finished. So um, once that's done, just know where it downloaded, which is probably your downloads folder. So once your download finishes, the next thing you want to do is open up Oracle Virtual Box. This is the software that manages all of your virtual machines. So notice that I don't have Kali in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Import Appliance. In here, you're going to see a box, the name file next to it. And all the way to the right, you're going to see a green arrow. We're going to click on that. Once you do, you want to go to the folder where your Kali machine downloaded to, which is probably downloads. Select the file and hit open. Once it is selected, we're going to click on next. See, super easy. The appliance settings, they already come prepackaged in the software. So everything is set up. You can change certain things. So for example, if you double click it, you can make some changes. So here, under name, I'm just going to go to delete that and just call it Kali just for simplicity's sake. And then I'm going to leave the rest the same. So don't do anything. Change the name if you want to. Once we're here, we're going to click on import. There's a software license agreement that's going to pop up. Just hit agree. Okay, and now it's going to start to import. So I'm going to pause the video and come back once it's done. Okay, so as you can see, the installation is complete. Once it's completed, you're going to see it in your Oracle virtual box window. So I have Kali all the way at the end. I'm just going to click on it, hold and drag all the way to the top to make it the first one. Um, 
It's not needed, but let me just show you. You can go to settings and you have different options here. So in general, you can change the name, the type, etc. In advanced, share clipboard and drag and drop. It's bidirectional, which just means that you can drag and drop files or copy things from your VM to your host computer and from your host computer to the VM. So normally with other different images, you would have to configure all of these things. But notice that with um, this appliance, actually everything already comes configured, which is super easy. The only thing I'm going to change is in system, <clears throat> I'm going to change it from two gigs to four gigs of RAM. It's not necessary. My computer has 16 gigs of RAM, so um, four it's not, is not too bad. Um, but if you have less than that, feel free to leave it at two. In my other Kali machines, I had it at two and it worked perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna hit okay. And then once that's done, you're just going to click on it, make sure it's blue or selected, and we're gonna click on start. So it's going to start. It's just going to load. This is what it looks like. So yours should look the same. All right. So here we are. We have to enter credentials. Now remember on the website we saw that the username and password were Cali and Cali. So we're going to type that in. Cali and Cali. Hit enter. And there we are. You have a Kali Linux. Congratulations. This is awesome. So before you go, just one more thing that I want to do. So notice that when you expand the window, everything expands, but it looks, it doesn't have the best resolution. It just looks a little stretched out. So what we can do to fix this is we're going to go to the top left under view, click on there, and all the way at the bottom, you're going to see virtual screen. In virtual screen, we're going to select resize to uh, 1920 times 1080. Click on that. Okay, see how it makes it a little bigger and you have scroll bars. Don't worry about that, we're going to fix that. Let's go to view again, virtual screen all the way at the bottom. And then under, we're going to scale to 100. And voila, there you go. Now it looks nice, sleek, and it's perfectly fitted to the screen. That's it guys. So hopefully this tutorial was easy and helpful for you. Now just go and enjoy. Until next time, bye.